Hey, Captain Don Riggins here. Welcome to Hook Sharpening Part 2. In this video, I want to share a unique money saving tip for those anglers utilizing the newer black anodized or black nickel hooks, such as Gamagatsu Owner or Matsuo. There are a lot of anglers out there that consider these hooks throwaway hooks simply because they lose their protective coating once sharpened and then subsequently rust. Unfortunately, anglers never sharpen the hooks and are typically discarded immediately. As I stated in the first hook sharpening video, all hooks are going to require sharpening in their lifetime. It's inevitable. Even though these hooks are extremely sharp out of the package, there is a myriad of items in the water that can dull these hooks while you're out fishing. For example, one of the techniques I frequently use in the winter is called ringing the dinner bell. This technique involves placing the boat in neutral, allowing the downrigger weight to thump off the bottom. And I'll stay in neutral for 15 to 25 seconds, allowing the flasher and the lure to fall. And many times my terminal gear will come to rest right on the bottom. Once I place the kicker back in the gear, the terminal gear will drag across the bottom substrate for a short distance. This is before the gear comes back up to a trolling depth. Consequently, this dragging is more likely going to dull the hooks. Now I realize that example is a little extreme. But debris such as floating grasses, sticks, kelp, crab pot lines, and other items will dull a hook immediately if it hit, hits it just right. And believe it or not, even a fish strike or two can dull a hook very quickly. With that said, as a general rule of thumb, always, let me repeat that, always check your hooks before you lower or after the gear is brought back on board. You may or may not have to sharpen the hooks, but it will pay big dividends in the long run to check those hooks every time. Instead of throwing these hooks out, we can prolong their life and save ourselves a little money in the interim. Assuming our hooks have become dull, let's sharpen them again as we previously mentioned in the first video by giving the hook three cutting edges. And that was kind of the triangular point. Again, once these hooks are sharpened, the protective coating is gone and are extremely prone to corrosion. Hence, the angler given nickname throwaway hooks. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but the coating is gone on here. However, we can temporarily correct this by just simply applying some indelible ink to the areas that we just sharpened. This will coat the bare metal areas and temporarily prolong the life of these hooks. In fact, if the hooks are properly cared for, you should be able to get several uses out of these hooks before you have to discard them. What is proper care? Well, proper care includes ensuring the bare metal areas are completely covered in indelible ink and the hooks are thoroughly rinsed in fresh water, then damp dried in a towel before stowing away after use. If a little surface rust comes back, all you got to do is just simply file the area down and reapply the indelible ink to the affected areas. You're as good as new at this point. And there you have it how to prolong the life of a non-stainless steel hook. We'll see you on the water.